Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rao Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, uh, we are given two circles and we have to show that they touch each other. This is the first thing which is being asked. Next, we have to find the point of contact and the equation of common tangent at their point of contact. Okay, so there are three things that they are asking in this question. First thing is this, circles touch each other. Next thing is point of intersection, I mean point of contact, I'm sorry. Next thing is point of contact and the other thing is equation of the common tangent at the point of contact. These are the three things that they're asking, right? I'm going to go step by step, so please stay with me, fine. Take the first circle as S, second circle as S dash, okay, fine. Now, be a little attentive here. See. Beside S, I use three lines. This means S is represented, S is representing this circle. Here also S dash is representing this circle. Okay. Use three lines like this, how it is visible. Okay. Now, first now. See now what okay, let me explain a little of call, little bit of concept. Now see. They're asking us to uh, show that the circles touch each other. When will two circles touch each other? The circles will touch each other. Let's say this is my first circle, this is my second circle. The circles will touch each other like this, okay, externally, when, when this distance C1, C2, the distance between the two centers is equal to radius of this circle is R1 and radius of this circle is R2. When it is like this, the circles touch each other, okay, externally, fine. Internally also, like they can touch, that is uh, another case, but let's see uh, uh, how it will go in this case how what we'll get let's see okay fine so s is there and s dash is there Chalo. first i want see to check whether distance between the centers is equal to sum of radius i want to find i first need the centers of the two circles also need the radii of the two circles okay first let us find out the center okay compare it with the standard uh, equation of circle i mean standard form of circle like x square plus y square plus 2 j x plus 2 y plus now if i compare what i get is Beside x there is 2g, beside x there is minus 6. To, so 2g equal to minus 6. Likewise 2f equal to minus 2 and c equal to 1. Now here, uh, again compare it with the standard uh, form of circle, standard equation of circle. But just notice one thing, I, I put here 2g dash, 2f dash and c dash. Because these two are different circles, basically they will have, uh, you know, uh, g dash uh, different uh, you know, centers and different, uh, this constants, like they have it. So that's why I took it like this. Okay. Fine. Chalo. So 2g dash is nothing but uh, 2 and 2f dash is minus 8 and c dash is 13. Okay. Fine. Once again, please listen to show that like, uh, you know, uh, to differentiate, that's why I took this dash so that you can understand what is going on left side and what is going on and right side. Okay. Now. 2g is minus 6, 2g is minus 6, so g is minus 3, uh, 2f is minus 2, that means f is minus 1 and c is 1, uh, keep it as it is now. 2g dash is 2, right? 2g dash is 2, so g dash will be 1, 2f dash is minus 8, so f dash will be minus 4, because send the 2 here, so f dash is minus 8 by 2, which is nothing, f dash is minus 4, and c dash is 13, keep it as it is. So, so we got g, f, c here, also I got g dash, f dash and c dash. Okay, chalo. Now, center of the circle is minus g comma minus f. What is it? Minus g comma minus f. So, c1 is nothing but minus g comma minus f. Now, see, g is minus 3. That means minus g will be 3. f is minus 1. So, minus f will be minus of minus 1, which is nothing but plus 1. So, that's why c1 is 3 comma 1. I hope things are clear. Next. Again, here also center C2 is minus G dash comma minus F dash. G dash is 1. So, minus G dash is minus 1. F dash is minus 4. So, minus F dash is minus of minus 4, which is nothing but plus 4. Okay. Fine. Now, center is done. Now, my next target is to find out radius. Radius form lies under root G square plus F square minus C. Here it is under root G dash square plus F dash square minus C dash. Okay. Just a dash extra. Form lies same. Just to differentiate. Chalo, now let's substitute. 
see g is how much minus 3 see here g is minus 3 so g square will be 9 minus 3 whole square is 9 likewise f f is minus 1 f square is plus 1 so 9 plus 1 c is 1 so in between there is minus so minus 1 i hope things are clear now 9 plus 1 minus 1 10 minus 1 it's 9 so r1 is root 9 which will be 3 now here also so just substitute first g dash is 1 so d g dash square is 1 only 1 square is 1 f dash is uh, minus 4 so f dash square is nothing but 16 okay and uh, c dash is 13 so minus c dash so minus 13 i hope things are clear up till now fine hello now as i mentioned this is root 9 which is 3 1 and this goes 1 plus 16 is 17 17 minus 13 is 4 so root r2 is root 4 which is nothing but 2 i hope things are clear up till now now see let's come back to the concept which i was telling which i was like trying to tell you see i want to find out the i got r1 and r2 i got c1 c2 now i need to find out the distance between c1 and c2 okay these two centers now c1 is this c2 is this c1 c2 is nothing but there is this formula right to find out the distance the formula is and uh, I, I guess you know it but still i'll just tell under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay fine under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here this is my x1 y1 this is my x2 y2 so under root x2 minus x1 whole square so minus 1 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so 4 minus 1 whole square fine now just basic simplification under root minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 4 minus 1 is 3 okay so minus 4 whole square is 16 and 3 square is 9 so 16 plus 9 is 25 so under root 25 it's nothing but 5 so c1 c2 is 5 if you'll observe if you'll observe r1 plus r2 is also equal to 5 r1 plus r2 is also equal to 5 so c1 c2 is r equal to r1 plus r2 so you guys remember right i told, taught you something see the distance between the centers is equal to sum of radius whenever this happens the circles touch each other externally circles touch each other externally like this okay now now okay fine i'll explain to you on this slide only so, the circles touch each other externally okay now what happens when the circles touch each other externally what happens when the circles touch each other externally Uh, so fine first first thing like if you remember i told you right uh, i had to prove you three things first thing is that we have we had to show that the circles touch each other and they touch each other okay fine that is one thing which i have proved next thing i have to find out is the point of contact okay now how to find out the point of contact now see again the same two circles they are touching each other externally it's not accurate let tell okay let's say they meet here this is the point of contact and uh, this is my c1 this is my c2 this is my r1 and this is my r2 now how to find out point of contact is see how to find out the point of contact means let me take some other color right? this point of contact p this point which is there okay this point of contact uh, okay this is the point of contact Now, how to find it out is this point of contact P. See, if you see this point P is lying on this, like is lying on the line joining C1 and C2. Now, this P is dividing C1, C2, the, the join of C1, C2 in the ratio R1 is to R2 internally. Okay. The circles are touching internally. P is dividing this line, the join of C1 and C2. See, these two are joining. And P is there in between. That means P, is, P divides the join of C1 and C2 in the ratio R1 is to R2. In the ratio R1 is to R2. I hope it's clear. Fine. So P divides. So the point of contact divides the join of C1 and C2 internally in the ratio. Because it's internal, right? See, it's on. It's in the middle means internally it's like. Uh, this, is called, this is when internal division is. It, the internal division happens when P is like in between. Okay. Fine. Fine, in the ratio R1 is to R2, which is nothing but 3 is to T. Fine. 
R1 is 3 and R2 is 2. Fine. Now, how to find out the point of contact? For the point of contact, there is a formula which is nothing but mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, my2 plus n by n by x. Now, whoa, what is this formula and where did this just pop up from? See, it's there like, you know, in the uh, to find out the point of contact whenever the point divides the join of two points internally, it's there in, you know, uh, inter first year straight lines also. Okay. Fine. Now, this is a formula. Now, how to apply this? That is more important. You guys can mug it up mx2. I think many of you know. Now, this is m. This is n. This ratio is m and uh, m is 2. I mean, uh, the first part, this is m. This is n. m is 3, m is 2. Now, this is x1. This is y1. This is x2 and this is y2. Now just substitute like m is 3. So 3x2. x2 is minus 1. So 3 into minus 1 plus nx1. n is 2. So 2 into x1 is 3. So 2 into 3 by m plus n is uh, 3 plus 2. And my2 plus ny1. So 3 into 4 plus 2 into 1. Like m3, y2 is 4. Uh, so 3 into 4 plus 2 into 1 n by 1 so 2 into 1 by 3 plus just simplify minus 3 plus 6 by 5 12 plus 2 by 5 so 3 by 5 comma 14 by 5 okay this is my point of contact so the second thing also like we found out second thing also we found out okay now fine i also wanted to like tell you guys a little about like give and take policy how it works in like you see, if you will do something good, you will get something good in return. May not happen immediately, but definitely if you do something good, you will get good result for it. Uh, if you give respect, you will get respect. If you will uh, uh, help someone, you will also get helped. That's how this works. Like That's why I sincerely request you guys to do good things like Let's say you see someone hungry, try to give them some food. Let's say, you know, you could also feed birds a little grains. Like these good things, na, they, it gives happiness, like doing such things, like doing such things where we can help others, or help uh, people, help animals. These things feel nice. So it's my sincere request. Please help others so that you will also receive help when you need. God will arrange it. Okay, fine. Now, next, the third thing which we had to find out was the point of contact. I mean, the, the common tangent, the equation of the common tangent. The equation of common tangent to the circles s equal to 0 and s dash equal to 0 is given by s minus s dash equal to 0. Fine. I hope you guys remember what I said. Please do good to others so that you can also get good. Okay. Get something good. Uh, one thing which I feel like some of you might think, I'm in need. Okay, let me just finish this. Some some of you might think, I'm in need right now, but God is not helping me. Well, it could happen. Like sometimes we may not, you know, receive the help which we want. It's possible, right? But in that situation, we have to, we can be positive. Like God wants us to become better. That is also there, right? So, fine. Now, let's come back. So one thing is sure, please try to do good things. Okay. Now next, this is the formula. Uh, this is the formula like you can remember like s minus s dash equal to zero. Okay, s is this uh, first circle equation. S dash is second circle. Okay, s is first circle and s dash is second circle. But only one time equal to zero comes. Okay, here I remember that like s minus s dash. If you guys remember, this is the first circle, second circle. Now just basic simplification and we are done. So minus x square minus y square minus 2x minus of minus 8y plus 8y and minus 13. Now x square, see, x square minus x square, y square minus y square, they will go and minus 6x, minus 6x and minus 2x. What is minus 6x minus 2x? It is minus 8x and minus 2y plus 8y. So, basically it is 8y minus 2y. So, it is 6y. Okay. 
so here i get minus 8x and uh, plus 6y and uh, 1 minus 13 it is minus 12 1 minus 13 is minus 12 so fine minus 8x plus 6y minus 12 now you see we can take minus 2 common if i'll do that so minus 2 i took common so here i'm left out with 4x and here minus 3y because i took minus 2 common because uh, two, when 2 is taken common like it will become 3y but minus is also taken common so plus will become minus like that and this minus becomes became plus okay uh, minus 2 is taken so I got plus 6. Now send this minus 2 here so 4x minus 3y plus 6 equal to 0 by minus 2 so it's a 0 4x minus 3y plus 6 equal to 0. That's it this is the this was the third thing that they had asked okay find so thank you very much for staying with me up till now i hope i didn't bore you guys any doubts regarding this uh, question you can come in the comments box i will try my best to help you out there okay and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button it would encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it okay not just this question i've made other questions related to circles integration definite integration differential equations please do check them out you can find some links in the description you could also check out playlist section of my channel for some of the links okay fine and thank you